I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of Storyline's indexing feature. So I'm going to scroll down the story view for this project. And here it is scene one, scene two, scene three. All's great. Everything's right with the world. And suddenly you've got this outlier scene here. Scene seven in front of scene four. And I'm looking at this going, uh, all right, the scenes are working, everything's great, but man, the fact that this is scene seven, I don't like it. And, and the reason the numbers are out of whack is that when the project was built, scene seven was off over there doing nothing. And then as links were added, the scene shuffled, and now you've got the scene numbers that are out of whack. And personally, the fact that the scenes are numerically not in the correct order never bothered me. I don't care if scene nine is leading the show and then it's scene eight and then five and then one. But there are plenty of people that look, this is, this is really visually a bother. So check it out. It's real simple to fix this. I'm going to select scene number seven and I really want it to become scene number four. So I'm going to come over here to my indexing tool. That's on the home tab of the ribbon, the scenes group. And I'm going to tell scene number seven, which, which I have selected, I'm going to tell it to become scene number four. And boom. Now that video scene becomes scene number four. It was seven, now it's four. And what's also cool about this, the jumps between the scenes have not gotten fouled up at all. So it's really great. So the process is you select your scene, you come up to your indexing tool, and you pick the scene number that you want that scene to have.